This is the build of the Helix modular segment uh, using MDF and I'll have a number of these half circle segments. Uh, this is the, the bottom side, the catenary, where the thread holes, <coughs> screw holes will be for uh, stringing up the copper wires underneath the, the helix. On the top side, I'm gluing six centimeters, six millimeters of uh, insulation for uh, basically noise noise reduction. Okay, now in the garage workshop area, very important for helixes is to make uh, a couple of drawing uh, drawing rods that center in the hole and give you all the various dimensions. I've got a couple of them. Basically, we can now draw the track plan, as you can see here. This is the um, outside parallel line. So now we have the two center lines of the track. Uh, getting the catenary points. Well, simply in this particular case, the 180 degree half circle divided into seven sections is basically uh, 26 degrees per section. So I have a little protractor here which allows me to create the right angle. So I just move the protractor up 26 degrees and get the intersecting points and then we can string up the wires. So here's the uh, <coughs> cutout section. With the track line. Top side. And underneath the catenary positions. So now we need to uh, String up the catenary, add the uh, supports underneath, and then we can stick this on the, the next level of the helix. Built one circle on the second circle, and we're building it with standard sections, 180 degree half circles. Bottom, uh, the uh, catenary is mapped out with uh, the legs. On the top side, some insulation foam, foam for uh, noise reduction and marked out uh, the tracks. So now it's just a question of fitting it into place. Catenary, I hook up in between. And now line up the tracks. Line up the tracks. Once it's positioned into place, it should take up the right uh, dimensions. Okay, the last section of the helix, which is this quarter circle, catenary, insulation. I have threaded through the catenary, just need to tighten it up a bit. And on the outside group as well. There we go. Looks about right. Then the uh, last section of the catenary will hook up to the uh, normal type catenary for the top loop. And somewhere along here there'll be a, there'll be a tunnel so this won't be visible. Helix test, a full length passenger train, the heaviest cars, full middle jackets, full middle jacket cars and one of the lighter one of the lighter locks. Well see how we got.
Yeah, locks off the catenary. My electric locks run on live catenary. Well, that seemed to work out. Helix test with a unit oil train. One, two, three, four, five, six, three doubles, another six, 15 or 16 cars, which three doubles, which will be about the maximum freight length. So here we go. That seems to be working reasonably well. <clears throat> Second test, I've added two more tankers and a couple of reefers for about 20 cars, which is nearly a full circle of the helix. It's about two and a half meters of length of the train, which is more than the signal block length will allow anyway. So this is a overcapacity test of the helix. So we can see it's nearly a full length of the helix. The helix outside circle is about 2.7 meters. Just about managing, and even at this slow speed, there seems to be no real problems. Probably want a little bit of more speed on the helix going up. Okay. 19 cars and three of which three uh, larger scale. So I think this uh, proves the helix is functional. <laughs>